I love messy hair and you just watched a tutorial on a messy hairstyle but today I'm teaching you how to achieve this messy hair. So the first thing we need to talk about is the haircut because this is something very important because you can't really have messy hair if you don't have the right haircut for it. Now this all depends on which type of hair that you have and what looks best on you. Because everyone has their preferences like me personally, I like a little bit longer hair. I'm not really into shorter haircuts but some people are. So that's exactly what I'm saying. It's all about preference and what you think looks best on you. So me personally, I get a low taper on the sides. I try to keep it long. I try to keep some bulk in there. But just remember the bulkier your hair is, the heavier it's going to be which makes it harder to achieve a messy hairstyle. Now if you want to see exactly which haircut I get and more detail about this, I have a video that shows this so you should definitely watch that after you finish this video. But essentially what I'm saying is the lighter the hair, the better it's going to be for the messy hairstyle. But you could definitely find a good balance between light and bulk. The main thing I ask for when I get my hair cut is texturizing the top. Basically what this means, it cuts off most of the bulkiness on the top so that way your hair is a lot more lighter and it's a lot easier to achieve a messy hairstyle. Now let's talk about the hair types because I get a lot of questions asking if you can achieve this hairstyle if you have straight hair and the answer is kind of. So your hair is not gonna look exactly like mine because we have different hair types. If you have straight hair, it's not gonna look exactly the same as my wavy hair. I naturally have wavy hair. Some days I'll wake up and do nothing to my hair and it's probably gonna look very similar to what it is right now. The only way you could actually achieve something like this is if you get something like a loose perm. So if you're open to that idea, you could look into that. But if you don't wanna do anything with your hair, that's totally fine. You can follow these steps and it's gonna look relatively close to mine, but not exactly what I have going on. If anything, it's going to look something more like this, which is still perfect because it's the whole messy hairstyle. Now let's talk about the hair products because the right hair products is definitely going to help with the messy hair. So since I have naturally wavy hair and plus I get my hair cuts texturized, I really don't have to worry about too many hair products that is gonna help with texturizing. But if you do need help with that, there are plenty of hair products out there that are specifically made for extra texture in your hair. And it's also funny because me personally, I have a new favorite hairstyle every single time. I wanna say every single month, I switch out the hair products that I like just because I think I found something even better. So the one that I'm currently using right now, it's actually gonna be the Slick Gorilla Hair Texturizing Powder. This has definitely been my favorite one. It's so easy to put in your hair and it makes your hair look incredible. So if you wanted to pick it up, the link is going to be in the description. But if you're not into hair powder, I really like hair clays as well. So I'm gonna be linking the one that I use as well. There's also such thing as sea salt spray, which helps with texture in the hair as well. So you can definitely pick up any of these products if you need help with extra texture in your hair. Trust me, these hair products help a lot if you're trying to achieve this hairstyle. So I definitely recommend that you try it out. Then of course, the next thing we need to focus on is healthy hair. I promise you, no matter what type of hairstyle you're going for, it's going to suck if you don't have healthy hair. So there are plenty of ways to achieve healthy hair. The easiest and my simplest ways to achieve healthy hair is preventing your hair from being damaged in the first place. So what I like to do instead of using a towel that's really rough on your hair, you could use something like a t-shirt because this is way more gentle on your hair and pretty much essentially what you want to be focusing on is being more gentle with your hair because you got to think about it, your hair is very fragile so you can't really put too much stress on it. So a good alternative would be using a t-shirt like I mentioned. Also, you could stop going to sleep with your hair wet. You should definitely wait for it to dry before you actually go to sleep. This will help with hair care and it will also help from having really bad bed head in the morning. And finally, the techniques I use to achieve messy hair. So my all-time favorite technique to use is going to be scrunching. I feel like this has become very popular recently. I have been seeing it a lot. Essentially, all it is is grabbing your hair in bunches and then squeezing it together. Now, you don't have to be too rough with it. You don't have to pull your hair out of your head. Instead, you're basically just going to be squeezing the hair without tugging or pulling. It's actually something very simple to do. It honestly works best when your hair is completely wet. So I do it in the shower and I do it while my hair is still drying. This also really helps as well because when when your hair is wet it's also a lot easier to train so the more you do this the more your hair is going to be used to having more of like a wavy pattern like i said this is pretty much the easiest hairstyle you could possibly have it's really easy to achieve and it's also really easy to maintain so if it did help make sure to leave a like i'd really appreciate it and if you are new around here in this channel i simplify men's fashion and lifestyle so if you want to learn more about that Make sure to subscribe right here. And if you're really eager to learn more right now, it's all good because I have a few videos right here that will definitely help you out. Anyways, other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Later.